One day while walking down life's long road, we met a man sat front row. Prabhupada is his name, and he's still chanting the holy name. He said, "Come with me, my daughters and sons." Your spiritual journey has just begun. Chant the holy names of the Lord, and all desirable things will, and all desirable things will, and all desirable things will be yours. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Desirable things will be, and all desirable things will be, and all desirable things will be Shri Krishna Chaitanya 
कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम गुरव गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदानी कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद भक्ता तवैवास्मी तवैवास्मी न जीवा तया विना माय कोटी कोटी दंडोत प्रणाम इन द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय स्पीच मास्टर ओंदिस नो बात स्तोत्र सत्संग भक्ति ज्ञान की सुविधा अन सेम कोटी कोटी दंडोत प्रणाम इन द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय शिक्षा गुरु नित्य विरा प्रविष्ट ओंदिस नो बात श्रीमद् भक्ति वेदांत Yesterday in my class, I told you that remaining burden of earth, Krishna wanted to remove before his departure from this world. So, in his part, he inspired. Brahmins and Rishi, and they gave cause that very soon they will be finished. When all were finished, then Baldev Prabhu took samadhi, and he left this world and entered in. अप्राकृत गोलोक वृंदावन क्रिसमस एज इफ नथिंग हैपेंड एंड ही वॉज सिटिंग इन ए पीपल ट्री थिंकिंग समथिंग इन द मेन टाइम उद्धव केम वीपी एंड ही टोल्ड कृष्ण नाउ आई हैव नोन दैट यू आर गोइंग टू योर स्वधाम लोक वृंदावन सो प्लीज टेक मी विथ यू विदाउट यू आई कैन नॉट रिमेन क्लियर So please take me. Then Krishna told, "You will have to be in this way." I will tell you the essence of all the literatures. How a person can attain supreme Lord very easy. so you should stay here and i am teaching you all these things and after this you should go to badrikashram there maitreya rishi in the way you will meet vidur you tells you should tell him all these teachings and then you should go to maitre and tell him and he will reveal all these things to whole world and i know that if you are here no separation with me any how you will be in vrindavan on kusum sarovar as a bread of cross he will bear आशा मोह चरणा रेण जुषा महम श्याम ही हेज प्रे दैट आई शुड बी इन वृंदावन एज अ ब्लेड ऑफ क्रॉस गोफिल कम टू अभिसार कृष्ण 
the fit guest will be there and my life will be successful. So you should be there. After some time, Bajranath and Parikshit Maharaj will come to you. And then you should tell them all these things. So Krishna began to tell all these things. Up till now, what I told, it was preface. That in what circumstances Uthav came and Krishna told him all the teachings. So now, first of all, we will discuss about Nemi Maharaj and Nau Yogendra. Once But they was with Krishna and whole dynasty. <coughs> At that time Narada came and he washed his feet, took his feet water and gave it to whole family. And then he asked, in my previous part, I have done Aradhana <coughs> that the Supreme Lord should come as my son. But I have not done anything to be liberated from this world. So please tell me the easiest method, process, that even a lame man who has heard nothing about, he has no idea of what is Krishna consciousness. So easily they can follow and have the Krishna praise. So, it I have told in Srimad Bhagavatam, Govinda Bhuja Guptayam Dharabhatta Puna Puna Kuratva Avishit Narada Abhikno Krishna Darshana Lalosha. You know that Narada Rishi is highest class of Rasik devotee. <coughs> In the first creation, Daksha Prajapati send his so many thousands of sons to be educated in the school of Narada. Narada very soon trained them and they become sannyasi, renounced. And they went to forest to do aradhana of Krishna. When Daksha came, where are my sons? Still now, their study is not completed. Where they are? Oh, they went to their house. Oh, from the school, they, I have given them. What holy day. <laughs> and then, he knew that, oh, Narth had trained them. They had become highest class of devotee. And they will never return to this world. What, what world is? Narada knows. Narada knows. Only fire and fire. In this world, anyone cannot be satisfied by worldly desire and sense gratifications. So, <coughs> Daksha, went to return back and then again so many sons he sent to Narada and told him, oh, don't teach them all these things. 
यू कैन टीच देम हाउ टू मेक प्रजा हाउ टू चिल्ड्रेन्स एंड डॉटर्स एंड सन्स एंड डॉट सो वन यू टीच देम ओ आई विल ट्रेंड एंड देन ही ट्रेंड and they become also pure devotees <laughs> and they went to forest again he became angry daksha who oh. again i warned you not to teach them this hari katha but you have trained now i am giving you course that you cannot stay anywhere to teach anyone <laughs> as soon as a cow is milked for oh, five minutes, you can stay there only. Not more than that. Thus you will. Not all. Oh, very good. Now <laughs> I will teach all others. <laughs> At first I was engaged in the service of only the sons of Daksha. Now in whole world I will tour. And I teach my bhakti to all. So, Govind Bhuj Gupta Yang Dara Vatya Kuna Kuru Dwaha. So, the Daksh Saab, that is cause of Daksh, could not enter in Dwarka because it was rakshit pai. Krishna. So, when Narad Rishi used to come to be with Krishna, there he spent, used to spend so many days and months. And again, Krishna used to send him. Again, he used to come. So. <coughs> When uh, Basudev Maharaj told, "I have done aradhana of Supreme Lord," he should mention, "I have not done anything for my liberation. Please tell me." <coughs> Hearing this, Narad became very, very happy and told. You have remembered me, the sweet past times, and aprakrit guna samuha qualities of Krishna. If anyone will hear, even one time, he will come in the ear of persons. They will be liberated. Krishna prayed we come. So you have reminded me. Now I am telling that in very ancient time there was a king. Name was Nemi Maharaj of Janakpuri. Very learned and he was pure devotee. And in their kingdom, the son of Rishab Dev, no Jogendra King, by doing five sacrifices, thousands of rithiks and others were uh, there. When no Jogendra Nine came, all stood up. You know Rishab Dev. He has hundred sons. The eldest was Bharat Maharaj, and he was the king of Ajanab, Barsha, and by his name he became Bharat Barsha. Such great devotee. He left this world as a stool, and he was. Doing bhajan in the forest, and he reached up to rati avastha bhav. 
Suddha Sattva. And then, anyhow, it was a tangle with a baby deer. And he used to lump what he has left before. No? He has left his sons, daughter, wife, wife, big kingdom, everything. But now, he was so much attached. So three births he lost. At the time of death, what he was doing? Remembering, oh, my dear son, oh, very auspicious, where he used to travel, your feet dust, it was the place of fire sacrifices. And in the meantime, they had come, and he remembered. So if anyone will attach to a beautiful lady, what will be result? A to dear attached, and he lost, and he was up to bhava-vastha, and then we, of no place, or a thousand and hundreds of lives, he will lose. Be careful. And then he became, reminding him, became what? Dear. So if we will attach too much to our family, ladies, wife, son, and at the death of that time, they must come in or remember, and we will be, oh, lady. Ladies will be male. So be careful. Now Jogendra, after three lives, he again received the same state, and he attended Krishna Prem and liberated. No Jogendra, they were from beginning like Sanak Sanandan Sanatan Sanat Kumar. Paramahansa, no jati, no nothing. They used to go everywhere where they lie, in Swarga, heaven, up to Brahmano, yet everywhere in the So when he came, they came, all stood up. And Nani Maharaj told, the fruit of all the Jagya has come here. Now he stop the Jagya. No need of it. doing any sacrifice. And then he asked the same question. Question. So now we will begin eleven canto. When Narad came to Vasudev Maharaj, Vasudev told, Bhagavan Bhauto Jatra Shvastaye Sarvadehi Nam Kipanadam Jatha Pitro Uttam Shloka Oh, Narad Rishi, you are travelling to this world is for the benefit of the whole world. He was so merciful. More than father and mother. Bhutanam Devacharitam. If you will worship gods, demigods, 
If you want poison, they will give poison. Even Shankar, he gave a bone to Bhasmasu, to whom you will keep your hands. So Indra, Varun, Jam, all, they will give what you bet that should want. They will never think that whether it is poison or it is nectar. <coughs> then, <coughs> so when when Nami Maharaj, uh, when fire sacrifice was stopped, then Videhu Bacha Nami Maharaj, Manne Bhagavata Shakshat Parsudo Vod Madhu Disha. Vishnu, Bhutani, Lokani, Pavanan, Charantihi. Oh, I think, Manne, I think, that you are Pasad of Madhudvisha, Krishna, Supreme Lord. They always travel in the whole world out of mercy to teach them Bhagavad Dharma. Like at the time of Ajamil, Vishnu Dev came, they were going to travel in the world and they saw and told him so many things. And then he went to Haridwar and began to chant the pure name of Narayan and thus he achieved the frame and he go on to Vaikuntha. So, Durlabho Manusho Deho, Deho, Tehinang Shanabhangura Tatrapi Durlabho Manne Vaikuntha Priya Darshana. Can you? You have nuts? No. You can take the book and... I told you to be prepared. Yeah. Huh? Oh, the, you can see this law. You have noted from tomorrow you should note down all these things. Ekadeshaskan, second chapter, 29th is law. Durlava Manusho Deho Dehinam Kshana Bhangura Tatrapi Durlava Manye Vaikunta Priya Darshanam For the conditioned souls, the human body is most difficult to achieve, and it can be lost at any moment. But I think that even those who have achieved human life, they rarely gain the association of pure devotees who are dear to the Lord of Vaikuntha. Explain something. <clears throat> Oma Jnana Timirandasya Jnanan Jana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha So here, which Navi Yogendra is speaking? Or this is? This is still Nemi Maharaj. Nemi Maharaj, was, as Srila Gurudev has described, he is now being visited by these, by these Nava Yogendras, by these nine very powerful uh, rishis, saints, who are pure devotees. So he's making the statement to them, as Srila Gurudev said, that he was performing this great sacrifice and now that they have appeared, now he declared, oh, the, re the purpose of our sacrifice is now fulfilled because these personalities have come. So he's explaining that this human birth, the opportunity for the jiva soul in this material world 
to get the human body is extremely rare. Why? Because in this material world, there are 8,400,000 different species of life that the jiva soul, the jivatma, has to travel through in order to come up gradually, gradually to the human platform. He has to travel through so many uh, species of aquatic species in the ocean. He has to travel through so many species of reptiles on the land, so many insects. He has to come up through the bird species. He has to come up through the animal species. And finally, he comes to the human species. Even within human form, there are so many different types of human species, and half of them, out of 400,000 human species, 200,000, half of them, they are uncivilized. What is uncivilized? It means that they have no Vedic culture, no connection with the absolute truth. And so he has to travel through millions, literally millions of lifetimes in order to attain one human birth. So Maharaj Nimi is declaring his own good fortune that this human form of life is so rarely attained, now I have attained that human form of life. But within the human form of life, even more rare to attain is to actually meet face to face with a pure unalloyed devotee of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. This is so uh, inconceivably rare. There is an example that we have heard from our Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada that he explained there is a turtle, a tortoise, just like the turtles, very big large turtles, they go down into the ocean and they dive quite deep uh, and they hold their breath. So after some time, again they come back up to the surface. So when they come up to the surface, they get some more air, oxygen, and then after some time again, they go back down. So this tur there is one turtle, one tortoise, who is uh, underneath the surface of the ocean. And on top of the surface of the ocean, there is a log, a piece of wood. It is floating along, and inside of the log, the piece of wood, there is a hole. So this uh, tortoise is swimming upward, gradually coming up to the top of the surface of the water, and this log with the, uh, with the hole in it is also floating along. And for this tortoise to come up and, and, and meet at the very point where this log of wood floats across, and to put his mouth up through this hole, this is the rarity of coming into the human form of life and meeting a pure devotee of the Lord. So you can figure it out mathematically. So the point is that... Huh? Oh, yes, he reminded that the tortoise, it comes up once only every 100 years. Yes. So like this, actually, we are unaware of this fact. We are coming, we are traveling in this material world for millions of lifetimes, and we are unaware of this fact of what we have gone through previously before receiving this human birth. But those who are enlightened souls, they understand uh, that Manushya Durla Bajanma, that the human form of life is very, very rare. It is only for one purpose, actually. It is for the purpose of spiritual cultivation and spiritual realization. But without coming in connection with saintly persons in the human form of life, it is actually not possible to advance spiritually. So Maharaj Nemi is proclaiming his good fortune that now on this very day, these great saintly persons have come before me and the purpose of my human form of life is fulfilled. What? Dharman Authentic. The next, next slok. Hmm. Go on, go on. Ato Atyantikam Kshemam 
पृछामो बवतो नगा संसारे स्मिन क्षणार्धो भी सत्संगा से वधीर नृनाम therefore o completely sinless ones i ask you to kindly tell me what the supreme good is after all even half of a moment's association with pure devotees within this world of birth and death is a priceless treasure for any person for any man oh he is saying therefore the atyantikam kshemam the supreme benefit i am asking you please to tell me what is the supreme ultimate benefit the ultimate attainment that is possible for a person to achieve within this world and then he makes this statement that satsanga even kshanardho kshanardho means even a half of a moment of such association with such a pure devotee oh it is a priceless treasure for any individual this is how we can understand the the pure devotees of the lord within this material world even krishna states in bhagavad gita that amongst many thousands amongst men manushyanam sahasreshu kashchid yatati siddhai there are very very few human beings amongst many many thousands who are even interested to inquire about transcendental spiritual realization but then he says yatatam api siddhanam in even of those persons who actually have attained siddhi some perfection in spiritual knowledge he says kashchin mam veti tatvatah very rare to find one person who actually knows me in truth so the coming into connection with a pure devotee of the lord is so powerful because they are speaking the most powerful message for all of the human society and if the pure devotee is met and the conditioned soul hears from the pure devotee this transcendental message his path of spiritual life begins even if he had no connection with the pure devotion previously but when he meets the pure devotee face to face now the seed of devotion is planted in his heart there are so many examples in shastra we have also heard the example of shri narada muni meeting the hunter mrgari very very low grade persons they had no previous pious activities in previous lives sukritis but by the mercy of narada their whole life was completely transformed and changed so therefore maharaj nimi is making this statement that even if one has the chance to get half of a moment of association in proper consciousness with such a pure vaishnav personality then he has a, he has the opportunity to attain the ultimate benefit the atyantikam kshemam what is atyantikam kshemam so so the ultimate benefit that a person can attain in this human form of life is a uh, prema kumarto mahan as shri chaitanya mahaprabhu has brought to this world this greatest gift of krishna prem shri chaitanya mahaprabhu before he came to this world there was also the opportunity to attain prem to attain love for god to attain vaikuntha prem but shri chaitanya mahaprabhu in the present time is the ultimate opportunity the ultimate of the ultimate good for the human being that one can attain uh, vraja prem and within the context of vraja prem one can attain the eternal uh, association and service of the lotus feet of radha and krishna so the human being is not meant only for dharma artha kama and moksha these four goals of human life are insignificant in comparison with the ultimate attainment of prem so the pure devotees of the lord they inform the human society about this ultimate good all ultimate attainment for them and they set them on this path of pure devotion to the supreme lord so that one day they may attain this krishna prem also more than that extreme gopi prem braj prem and then radha dasya radha dasya this is authentic yes. of supreme kalyan 
auspicious oh. mm. After that, you, you, Hearing this question, Kavi began to answer and he told that himself Krishna, Supreme Lord, has so many process of attaining him, easiest thing. If he will run Closing your eyes means, what is the meaning? If you will neglect something, Vidhi, Marga, no harm. By that, you will attend Prish Prem, Krishna Prem. <coughs> and then, he began to tell, Kayena Basa, Bacha, Manasayin Driyai Vava, Buddhatmana van sit sabhavat karot jajat sakalam parashnai narayani tisab. It is not Prahlad Maharaj Upakhan. So, in accordance with the particular nature one has acquired in conditioned life, whatever one does with body, words, mind, senses, intelligence, or purified consciousness, one should offer to the Supreme, thinking this is for the pleasure of Lord Narayan. Next verse. Meaning? Guruve Gora Chandai Radhikaya Tadale Krishna Krishna Bhakta Tadabhakta Namona. Means this this body that we have received is due to our past activities. Therefore, with whatever we have, our Parapta Karma, with which our present body is now made of, in whatever condition one find oneself, one should engage one's body, mind, words, intelligence and consciousness as an offering to the Supreme Lord. For example, this Bhagavad Dharma is so broad, one should not think, oh, this is only for human beings. Because we see even those in the lowest species of life who have achieved the body as a result of their past karma, they can also engage in Bhagavad Bhakti. Like Gajendra, in the Maharaj, because of his karma, his past activities, he was cursed by Angir Rishi to take the form of an elephant. Despite being an elephant, he could still engage in Bhagavad Bhakti. Or what to speak of devotees like Garuda, even uh, despite assuming, of course it's an eternal Parikha form, but even assuming the form of bird, he could still engage in Bhagavad Bhakti. Therefore this Bhagavad Bhakti, this chanting of the Holy Name can be performed in any condition. Ataku Bhakti Vinod, he prayed, Kita Jan Mahao Jata Dura Das Bahir Mukha Brahma Nahim As. He said, even as a result of my past activities, I have to take birth as a worm. Still, I want to take birth as a worm in the house of a devotee, so I can get the chance for a Sangha or Vaishnav. I don't want to be born even as Lord Brahma, if I am born against you, without the chance of Satsangha. Therefore, this Bhagavat, like Guru Mahaj was saying, even if one runs with eyes closed, there can be no fear of fall down. <coughs> even if there is some mistake, in, a, in the devotee's performance of Shravan Kirtan and Vishnu Smaranam, there is no doubt he will achieve the supreme destination. As a result of his past activities, Valmiki took birth as the Dakoid Ratnaka, but he chanted the holy name backwards. Still he achieved perfection. Therefore there is no question of anyone falling on this path of bhakti. Even though Bharat Maharaj, he was degraded by his activity to take birth as a, as a deer, still he could achieve the topmost destination. Even though Chit, Maharaj Chitraketu, as a result of his activities, he had to take birth as the Asura, Britas, as the Asura Britasura, still he achieved com complete perfection. Therefore one should not think, oh, this present body is unfavorable for Bhajan, oh, I was born in the West, oh, I have so many bad samskar. This, 
Navagandra Sambhad says, whatever you have in whatever condition, whatever time, place, circumstance, this bhakti has no obstacle. One can engage whatever one has, in whatever condition, in the service of the Lord and achieve complete perfection. This was Pujapat Chirigamaraj's favorite verse. Boyam Dvitiya Bhavanesa Tascha Di Sadvipat Pasya Vipari Yosmiti Tadmaya Taya Abhajet Buddhatvam Bhaktiya Kisham Guru Devatmanaha Guru Devatmanaha Atma So this was the question Nimi Maharaj asked How can even a foolish person who has no knowledge How they can cross this ocean of birth and death So Boyam Dvitiya Bhavanesa Tascha so, Vipariyasvasmiti, the living entity, because he has minute independence, and because of minute independence he's come to this world, he has developed Vipariyasmiti, means a feeling of enviousness towards Krishna. Oh, why he should be the center of everything, why he should be bhakta, why he should be the enjoyer, I should be the enjoyer, I should be the center. Therefore, because of Vipariyasmiti, because of enviousness of, enviousness of Krishna, he falls to this world and immediately he experiences boyam dvitiya abhavanesa tashab. And maybe he experiences fear because he associates with, he is claiming something as his own. So, Puja Pachavika Maharaj gave an example. For example, a brahmachari, he's alone doing bhajan, then he's very happy. But as soon as he marries, immediately comes fear because he thinks she is mine. Then comes fear of what, what happens if someone else takes her what happens if she becomes sick, then the baby comes, then more fear comes, oh I have to supply for the baby, I have to do this, I have to do that. Because as soon as one thinks this is mine, immediately comes a situation of fear. For example, if we're walking down the road, we have no money, nischin, no problem. If we have $10,000 in our pocket then, thinking, oh everyone will rob me. Therefore, boyam dvitiya. That feeling of dvitiya, or jewel, Mentality is the cause of fear. Therefore, this is called Bhaktik, this is called Abhujat Buddhatvam. This is called Maya, or that which is not. Which is not, is that you are not the enjoyer and nothing is yours. That is called Maya. So, Maya produces that feeling of Aham Mamata, Mameti. I am this body and this is mine. Therefore, what to do? Because we are all in this present situation. Therefore, there is only one medicine that even a most foolish person can adopt. Bhakti Kisham Guru Devatmana. Guru Devatma. Bhakti Kisham. Ek Sham. That means. Devi is Paramaradha. Guru Dev is our most worshipful. And one should perform one pointed devotion to him. That means, Guru, now at the present, we're thinking, well, my Atma belongs to me. I am this Atma. I am independent. So one should. Like one has the same. Now we are thinking this Atma is, I belong to myself. This Atma is mine. Here Atma means Priya. Uh, so, Guru Dev is my Priyatam. Knowing this, you should serve Guru Dev. Don't disobey him. Otherwise, fall down. So, you should know that. Guru Dev is our most priyatam bandhu, most dear friend, and we should obey and serve him, and by that we should serve always Radha Krishna Kanjuga. This is easiest method. If bhayam ditiya, if he will forget Krishna, then you will have to be, what, too much ashakti in this world? Oh, I am this body. Oh, old age will come, and then I will die. I think that I will die. So, bhayam. Oh, at the time of death we cannot take anything. And so many diseases, so many problems in this world. 
so bhaya that is why you should know gurudev your parama bandhu more than father mother and relative and wife and obey him and worship him and then do bhajan to radha krishna shrimam subhadrani rathang pani janmani karmani ch jani loke गीता नामा तदर्थ का गायन बिलज्जो विचरे प्रसंग सज्जन महाराज कैन देन यो यो प्रेम जन्मानी कर्मानी चयानी लोके गीतानी नामानी तदा तखानी गायन विलज्जो विचर तसंग An intelligent person who has controlled his mind and conquered fear should give up all attachment to material objects such as wife family and nation and should wander freely without any embarrassment hearing chanting the holy names of the lord the bearer of the chariot wheel the holy names of krishna are all auspicious because they describe his transcendental birth and activities which he performs within this world for the salvation of the conditioned souls Thus the holy names of the Lord are sung throughout the world. So in this verse it's explained that the having taken shelter of the lotus feet of Sadguru as described earlier one should without any attachment wander throughout this world. And this is the symptom of Mahabhagavat तो ये भक्त महाभागवत सो हिम्स महाभागवत इन द स्टेज ऑफ प्रेम हैव बीन डिस्क्राइब वॉट इज ही डूइंग वंडरिंग ही देर विदाउट एनी अटैचमेंट एंड विलाज मीन्स without any shame he is not embarrassed or afraid to sing and dance why because he cannot see the people and society of this world he is completely absorbed in his eternal identity and eternal relationship with krishna and what does he do shrinvansu badrani ratanga pane he is hearing the beautiful auspicious pastimes of shri krishna Jan- janmani karmani about krishna's birth and krishna's activities and chayani loke uh sila vishnu chakri thakur said chayani loke means he is describing even in the languages of this world in his local language he may describe in english french russian italian <laughs> whatever he can uh, speak the past times of the lord who is the lord ratanga pane ratanga pane means he whose hand has the mark of a chariot wheel on christmas hand there are so many symbols the mark of a chariot wheel so it's described when um, akura came to brindavan then krishna reached forward and went to touch him with his hand and akura looked and saw the chariot wheel upon his hand or the chakra on his hand it's a sign that oh my dear devotee don't be afraid i will protect you from all things Gitani namani tadata kani he should sing the names of shri krishna like govinda damo daravada veti govinda damo tadartakani and here tadartakani means you should explain the meanings what is the meaning of govinda 
Govinda who plays with go, the cows, who plays with go, the go, goats, who plays with go means gopis, especially Shimati Radhika. So he'll explain the meaning of all of these things. And in this way, or distribute auspiciousness throughout the world. Vicharita Sangha? I thought at the beginning I told you. Huh? At the beginning I told you. No, no. In the last Vicharita Sangha. Ga Gayan means he will sing Vilajo without any embarrassment. And Vicharet, he will wander here and there, Asangaha, without becoming attached to any temporary material. Without things. any attachment. <laughs> No attachment, only attachment to Guru and Krishna. So in this way, Mahabharat travels in the whole world to purify the whole world. Evan Prata Sapriya Nama Kritya Jata Anurago Dichitta Kuchyai Hasatya Thoro Dati Rauti Gaya Unamadya Nitya Tiloka Bahya So, evam brata. <laughs> brata means Janmashtami brata and other brata. So, our brata should be or to chant and to sing the glories of Krishna. Radhe 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 Jai 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 Shri Radhe 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 Gopala Hare Bhukunda Gopinda Kishore Shriya Jasoda Tanaya Shriya Shriya Viti Banaraji Keshara Radhe Radhe Jaja Jashriya Radhe Radhe Jaja Jashriya Radhe 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 the names which are very favorable for you, you should chant. <coughs> like gopis, you used to do in their household activities also. If there are what? Short names. Gobind. Children's, oh, don't weep. You should sleep. That not telling like that. Go No say. Oh, hands up like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And singing. Weeping, Jato Nuraga. At once, Krishna Prem comes. He cannot say, Dutta Chitta Uchai. Loudly, 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 he begins to shout. Go open. Krishna is playing with all the 
boys, Madhmangal and all. Madhmangal told, if you give your fruit, your dress, your peacock feather, no man will give anything to you. All laddu and everything they will give to me. This he told, oh, oh, you should take. And he gave his peacock feather, pitambar, everything. And in the meantime, Keshi came. <laughs> and he, with his behind legs, oh, he did like so. And then Madhmangal, <laughs> then all began to, remembering this, and began to laugh louder. Anyone know the person, general person, they don't know. Now, why he is laughing? They think that he is mad person. But really what? Always remembering the sweet past times. Hasat. Oh, very loudly he begins to laugh. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> or how? Sometimes he thought that Krishna disappeared. Then he began to weep louder. Why he is weeping? No one knows. Gayat Unmadat, like mad person. And he, sometimes Nityati, to please Krishna, she dance. Oh, no shame at all, nothing. So these are the symptoms of a Mahabhagavad. We should try to follow. Don't be attached in anything, worldly things. It is very, very durlap janma. Rare. Even demigods want to be human. Don't stand. Then he began to tell, Bhakti Pareshanu Bhavo Virakti Ranetra. Can you try? Both, though it is very hard to understand, but you will have one day to know all these things. So don't think that it is very hard. We cannot understand and give your attention to other things. Don't. Try to understand. One day, certainly you will have to come to this stage and then, oh, Nishtha Ruchi and other statements. So here in the 42nd text of the second chapter of the 11th canto, Maharaj Nemi is saying, Bhakti Pareshan Bhava Bharaktir Anyata Trika Trika Eka Kala Abhajama Nashana Tashanta Tushti Pushti Shud Apayon Ugasham He's comparing the progress of devotion to the process of eating. That within, it, within every biteful, one experiences three things. Tushti pushti shudaya perno. That one gets pleasure from the taste of the food that he's taking. He also gets nourishment with every biteful. And gradually with every biteful, his hunger gradually diminishes. So similarly, bhakti prashana bhava bharaktir. He gets devotional uh, ecstasies come. Uh, the seva vritti manifests in his heart. He wants to perform more and more devotional service. And also, he gets nourishment to his bhakti in the form of realizations. Direct experience in this process of devotional service comes. It's not this process of bhakti at this stage, it's not a dry process. There's direct experience. This is the progress af after performing devotional service. And finally, virakti, or detachment from material activities, will gradually manifest. As one gradually becomes, uh, with every biteful, his hunger diminishes. So in this verse, he's explaining it. So similarly, we can use this in our daily activities of devotion to understand, how am I progressing? This is the barometer of our seva. 
if we're still having new, new, new material desires, hankerings for material activities, then there must be some uh, uh, lack, some loophole in our devotional service. So we should uh, be attentive to these things. After that, I slow you. You. It. It. That. You. Tangring. Hajato. Kutanya. Anubhitya. It. That. You. Tangring. Hajato. Anubhitya. Bhakti. Virakti. Bhagavat. Prabodha. Bhavanti. Vira. Bhagavat. Asya. Rajangs. Tata. Param. Shantim. Upati. Sakshat. My dear King, the devotee who worships the lotus feet as an infallible personality of Godhead, with constant endeavor, thus achieves unflinching devotion, detachment, and experienced knowledge of the personality of Godhead. In this way, the successful devotee of the Lord achieves supreme spiritual peace. <laughs> So, this verse is very parallel to the previous verse, where it says that just like when we eat, we get pleasure, nourishment, <coughs> and relief from anger. Here, by worshipping Krishna, one achieves unflinching devotion, detachment, and experienced knowledge of the Lord. In other words, by one's practice of devotional service, one progressively goes through the stages of... Uh, development between Shraddha and Prem, and gradually one becomes free from all anxieties, knowing, as we were hearing before from the previous verse, that fear is coming from misidentification with the body, and therefore uh, possessiveness towards bodily relationship, and fear to lose those. So when one becomes free from that, one develops spiritual peace. In other words, he is not able and he is not anymore affected by anything pertaining to the body, to the mind, and so-called possessiveness in this world. And then he is able to achieve that uh, establishment in peace. He is completely engaged in Krishna's service. And he can directly experience Krishna, knowledge of Krishna. In the Bhagavatam, it's <coughs> in the second chapter also we hear that, one comes to the stage of uh, realized knowledge of Krishna. He gets direct experience in this way. Thank you. Here, Anubhritya means with all time, all time, one one moment, what doing? By all senses. By mind, remembering the sweet past times of Krishna. By ear, hearing the sweet past times of Krishna. By mouth, oh, singing the glories of Krishna and his name and other things. With hands serving, with feet traveling in the holy places of Vrindavan, Navadvip Dham, and Nilash of Dham. So by by all organs, you should utilize all our senses. All the time, that Maya cannot enter in our all. And thus, if he will do, then he is Bhagavat. And then that person will have achieved eternal peace and also Krishna name. Then, hearing this, the king again asked, Bhagavatam Bhruta Jadharmo Jadri Samhita. Oh, I want to know the symptom of Bhakta, Bhagavat. How they talk, how they behave, behave, what they tell, I want to know. What is their nature and 
with four symptoms, he can be most dear to Krishna. I want to know. And then he began to tell, Sar Dhute Isuja Pashe, you. भगवदभावेट he will see to whom? Ya Pasyad Bhagavad Bhavam Atmana. And which mood he has in his heart, he thinks all are serving my worshipable deity, my God, in same mood. If someone in mood of opulence, like Prahlad Maharaj, he thinks, oh, all of us, this in this world, all are serving my worshipable deity, like is my same mood. And in this world, who came in Mahaprabhu's line, <coughs> Although all in Mahaprabhu's line, there is constitutional form of male servant singh of Shubhati Radhika, but some exceptional case also there. In some are Sakha mood, think oh, all are serving Krishna in Sakha Ras, in friendly turn. With parental mood, like Mother Yasoda and Nanda Baba serving Krishna, always making you laugh. And sometimes, Nandava asking Krishna, Oh, can you bring my 